I'm Naomi and as I've been opening up about my health journey I've been thinking a lot about language and the importance of language especially when it comes to diagnoses. Early on I described my muscle spasms more like tremors, that's how I thought of them, which I still have tremors especially when I uh, use my muscles too much and they get tired I'll just have light shaking of my hands or shaking of other muscles. There's also been um, questions and confusions around the muscle spasms and cramping and why they're not always so obvious. What I would say is that that's coping mechanisms. So I've learned one of my hardest things to do, aside from stairs, is get up out of a chair, um, especially one that is lower than my legs. And so if I do it using my upper arms to help brace me, you should hardly see any tremoring at all. A little bit there because I'm tired, I've had a long day. However, if I do it completely un, unbraced, so if I use only my muscles in my, my legs, that will set off spasms and usually cramping in my legs, that it's very painful, it takes a few minutes to settle down, and I wanted to show you that in all authenticity and vulnerability, what that looks like. <laughs> And you know what? what? What's so funny about that is that my instinct is to say I'm sorry, uh, but I wanted to just clarify what those look like and why they're not always so obvious to people and uh, just kind of emphasize the importance of language when you're describing the things that you're going through.